Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Yashve Gaming, and uh, well, if you're new to channel, guys, I would like you to kill my and smash that subscribe button right about now, okay? So, without any further ado, guys, today I'm gonna show you how you're gonna install an SSD, okay, a solid state drive on this particular laptop, okay? So, for that, you'll need a, a set of tools, okay? You'll need a pair of screwdrivers, okay, a Phillips screwdrivers, so as you can see, I have. I got this okay so you can get this one uh, it's on a five dollars six dollars okay you can find it on your local store okay or you you may buy it on Amazon or online okay all right so yeah without any further ado let's get started okay so it's a Dell laptop okay so what you need to do is you're gonna need to flip this over okay all right so after you have flipped this over okay so the battery all you gotta do is to pull the battery out all right and as you can see let's get our set of tools here and as you can see there are one screw here and then one screw here okay and um, we have another screw here and you have to yeah so let's do that and screw that Alright, so we'll be installing the, HS, uh, the SSD in the uh, CD DVD drive, okay? And we'll place a caddy, okay, an SSD caddy in there so we can easily remove that, okay? So as you can see, um, you're gonna use uh, another tool, and here you can see this, alright? So I want you to pull it, okay? So you're gonna pull this out okay but before you pull it out you have to unscrew this this okay let's do that you have to unscrew both of these screws here and here okay okay so here it goes so you have to put a screwdriver here okay this this type of screwdriver okay just put it here uh and then just apply some force Okay, but not too much. Like this, okay? Once you push, and the uh, CD drive should be removed. Alright, so as you can see, the CD drive is now removed. Okay? Alright, so the next step, we're going to remove this black uh, rubber, okay? This black plastic here. Okay, so let's do that. All right, and the next step, guys, we're gonna use this. Okay, this is a, a serial ATA. Okay, so you have to insert the hard drive in there. Okay, and then just uh, just put it back in there. Okay, so this one as well is like seven to eight bucks. Okay, you can easily get it from your local store or uh, on eBay. Alright, so yeah, let's do that. Alright, here it is. So uh, as you can see, the, they have included a screwdriver here. Okay, so it's rather useful and some. Some, uh, as you can see, this probably not. So yeah, next we have to, as you can see, this is a SATA, okay, SATA three. 
right, so it looks kind of good. And as you can see behind, is it's a metal kind of plastic and metal. Okay. Nope. Uh, this is completely metal. Okay. Alright, so there's not plastic. Alright, so as you can see here, installation method um, and blah blah blah. Okay, now we're gonna grab our SSD. Okay. Alright, so this is a 128 uh, SATA uh, solid storage drive from Zeno. Alright, so we're gonna unwrap this. Alright, so let's pull this out. Okay, and here it is. So, of course, they have include some, uh, as you can see, that. Oops, and this is a back packet, and here's some warranty card, okay, from Zainu, okay, thank, uh, thank you for choosing Zainu, blah, 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 all right, there's not much here, as you can see, this, okay, and here's the uh, SSD, okay, it's uh, 2.5 inch, Okay, this is for laptop, desktop, okay, solid state drive. Alright guys, as you can see for yourself. Now, let's uh, put that SSD in this here. Okay, so what you need to do is to just slide it in, okay, like this, and then just push gently, you will hear a click, okay. Alright, so after you have uh, pushed it, as you can see now, it won't come off, okay, it won't fail, okay, so it is already secured, as you can see, it won't fail, alright, so it's in the right places, okay, now it looks good, now what we need to do, we need to remove this, um, this black thing on this uh, DVD drive, okay, is this, Okay, so we'll have to pull it out and then we're gonna add it here. Okay, in this spaces. We're gonna remove from this uh, this black plastic here and we're gonna add it here. Okay, so let's do that. Alright, so once you add it, as you can see, we have removed it from here on the D DVD ROM writer, okay, CD writer, and we have added in here okay so oh, all you add is to click it and it's gonna fall in into its place really good okay oh my god it's dusty okay sorry about that and yeah if we flip it up here as you can see we have four screws and don't forget to you have to screw it okay you have to use these and screw these four tops all right so yeah let's do that and I get back to you. All right, now after you've done the all the hardest part, all, all you have is to put this back in and just push it. Okay, just push it completely. All right, like this. All right, so it must click, and you should notice this as well. Okay, this this piece of metal here should be lined up as before. Okay. So once it's done, okay, everything is aligned correctly, okay, all the, as you can see, the power button, okay, but now if we turn the laptop on and press the power button, nothing will happen because we don't have the CD-ROM, okay, the, uh, the DVD writer is, we have completely removed the DVD writer, okay, so, um, yeah, so that's how. Now all you add is to put back all the screws, okay, and then uh, put back the battery and I'm gonna show you how you're gonna, uh, how you're gonna detect, how you're gonna install Windows, okay, how you're gonna clone your Windows 10 from another hard drive into this SSD and how do we detect that Windows as well, okay guys?
all right so all we got is to plug in the battery back okay all right and make sure that it is clicked okay it is clicked correctly and now let's turn this uh let's flip it over and turn this laptop on all right Alright, and next all we gotta do is to get a piece of uh, a piece of tissue paper and we gotta clean our laptop screen and the keyboard as well, okay? This because when we have unscrew and we have applied pressure, okay, all that dust uh, um, was accumulated on the screen, okay? So and yeah, so to remove the keyboard guys, uh one day I'm gonna show you how you're gonna um dismantle everything and remove the keyboard and then how we're gonna uh as you can see there's a lot of dusty parts here on the keyboard. I'm gonna show you how you're gonna clean that okay from scratch. Alright, so all we gotta do is press the the power button and we're gonna wait here. Alright, so let's wait for the laptop to boot up. And of course, I have um, another HDD here. As you can see, a configuration, you will create a new keys. Okay, so here to reject this and continue configuration was... Okay, so all you have is press F12. Okay, just hit F12 and this is gonna reboot, okay? As you can see, it's a Dell logo and it is booting. Alright, so every time this is a is to clear the catch, okay, so it's a DPRM, okay, alright, so I don't know what that means, so just press F12 or you can uh, reject it as well, okay, so from now uh, the Windows is loading from my main HDD, okay, from my main hard drive, okay mechanical hard drive so i'll show you how you're gonna clone the windows 10 from the as you can see how much time it's taking to boot up from the so as you can see how much time okay uh this uh windows is taking to load on the uh mechanical hard drive so this is why uh this is why this is why i have install an ssd a solid state drive and then i will show you first step by step how you're gonna copy your windows 10 from your mechanical hard drive to your ssd okay and uh after that i'm gonna sh also show you how you're gonna erase okay how you're gonna reformat erase repartition that mechanical hard drive okay and uh use it as a storage okay all right, so as you can see, there are some updates here. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna skip all to the parts and I'm gonna just show you the main part, what you're gonna do, how you're gonna make Windows detect that SSD, 